Hi viewers, welcome to our YouTube channel Electrical Lectures. In this video, I will be telling you the difference between analog signal and digital signal. In signals and systems and DSP and also in communication, these two types of signals are used many times. So you should precisely know the difference between these two types of signals. First of all, I am going to draw an analog signal like this. Let's say the signal is x of t and on the x-axis we have time. So you can see that the y-axis of this particular signal contains infinite values or it is continuous along the y-axis. So therefore it will be considered as analog. It is not necessary that the signal seems continuous in time to be analog. To see this, consider another example where we have another x of t which can be like this. Let me draw it in the form of these pulses. So it is only defined inside these pulses like this. So here although this signal is not defined for all times but if you see on the y-axis it can be easily seen that the values are infinite. So therefore the same signal will also be analog. On the other hand if we draw some digital signals over here so here is the time and this signal is x of t. So I'm also denoting it with the help of time because it will be continuous. So let's say the signal looks like this. So it can only attain a value of 1 or 2. So in this case the y-axis values are finite and there are only two options for the amplitude. Either it is 1 or 2. So this signal is digital. But remember it is not necessary for a digital signal to have only two values. It can contain any number of finite values. For example, let's say we have another signal and if it is attaining these three values like 0, 1, 2 and 3. So in this particular case, the signal will also be digital because the number of values are finite. Similarly, you can have another type of digital signal if it is not defined for all times. Let's say we have a signal in the form of pulses. The pulse number 2 and 4, they have the amplitude of let's say 1 and pulse number 1 and 3 have amplitude 2. So in this case, the number of values are also finite which is equal to 2. So the summary is that we will not see the time axis in order to declare a signal to be analog or digital. We will only see the y-axis or the amplitude as explained with the help of these examples. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned to our channel Electrical Lectures.